Hey, Mika, could you just talk us through that that winning goal and, and what happened on that play and how you were able to create that chance? Um, we, uh, we got a puck out, um, and I was, uh, I was basically just chasing their D and, and uh, try to stay on him and um, got a push. I don't know if he um, caught a rut or something. He fell, and then and, um, I was able to get the puck, so try to get on that, and it went in, so it was nice. Next question comes from Stephen Wino. Stephen, go ahead. Mika, what does it say about this team to have a very similar situation to last night and, and kind of respond this way? Um, great. I think the last three games, the way we've been playing, um, looking at last game uh, against a really good team, obviously we couldn't we couldn't get it done, but um, we um, we just kept playing. I, I thought uh, it was maybe pretty, but we we uh, we found a way, and that's uh, that's what we need. Next question comes from Vince Mercagliano. Vince, go ahead. Mika, just wanted to ask about the defensive effort in the last two games against the Caps. Only one goal for them tonight, two goals last night. It, it didn't seem like they had a ton of great chances. What were you guys able to do effectively to hold down such a potent offensive team like that? I thought we were smart with the puck. Um, they're a really, really good team off the rush. Um, we uh, we just had to make sure that we, we don't feed their offense and um, everyone played hard. Everyone came back, and everyone contributed in different ways. And I think that's uh, that's uh, what we've done since um, obviously the the Philly game as well with a big win. And, and um, the last two games here, I thought we uh, we've been pretty good. Hey, King Keith. Hey, Keith. Uh, just what, 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 how different? Obviously, you were watching last night's game, but how good did it feel for this team to kind of hang on and respond differently than last night? Yeah, I think it was basically the same script. Uh, I guess you'd say we flipped the script. Uh, Mika gets hit uh, late in the game like that and, uh, you know, comes back and scores the game winner. And, uh, you know, I think our uh, attention to detail and our, you know, blocking the shots at the end of the game was was huge. You know, um, I don't know how many block shots we had, but guys were sacrificing their bodies, anything that, anything that it took. Next question comes from Colin Stevenson. Colin, go ahead. Yeah, Keith, just to follow up on that, can you just talk a little bit about, you know, how frantic that last uh, defensive stand you guys uh, had to make there when they had pulled the goalie and all kinds of chaos is happening in front of you and block shots and such? Yeah, uh, like I said, you know, everyone's sacrificing the body out there. And, uh, you know, I think we've been really uh, defensively sound uh, the past few games here, and uh, we got to keep that going moving forward. And, uh you know, hopefully we didn't use all the all the goals in that nine nothing route. We gotta we're gonna pot a few more here and uh you know just keep playing the way we do. Next question comes from Harvey Valentine. Harvey, go ahead. I'm sorry, I didn't have a question. <laughs> okay. Next question comes from Mark Rosaman. Mark, go ahead. Hey Keith, but right before Mika's goal, there was a twenty two second span there where um, Orloff gets two, gets two shots off, Obi gets two shots off, and Oshie gets a shot off, you know, and you, that's a 1-1 one, one tie. What's that sequence like for you, and what did you see during that 22 seconds? Yeah, I think it was similar uh, to, the, you know, when they spent the, on, their, on their goal, when they spent, you know, yeah, they're switching here and there, they're throwing pucks at the net uh, screen. So I just kind of wanted to, you know, cover down low so uh, the goal didn't happen again. And then, uh, like I said, you know, the attention to detail and everyone blocking shots, sacrifice and working, uh, no matter how tired you are. Uh, I, I know, uh, on the, on the goal against, you know, how's is, is gas and he's still running around out there and, you know, it's good to see him get that, uh, that goal at the end of the game, get the monkey off the back. Next question comes from Steven Wino. Steven, go ahead. Keith, two, two wins and three starts for you. How good are you feeling about this opportunity after not a whole lot up until the last couple of weeks? Yeah, it feels amazing. Uh, you know, especially being a ranger, it's, uh, it's really something special and, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to stop here. I want to keep it going. 